Excuse me. Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer. I was reflecting this morning as we heard in the gospel that call to love from the Lord that this is uh, the month of the Sacred Heart. We're halfway through. Perhaps it's interesting to reflect how much time and thought we've given to the Sacred Heart. It was a powerful image for me as a child. My grandmother had the Sacred Heart on the wall of her uh, lounge. I say lounge, I mean, they only had one room, basically, her, the, the main room. Um, and she had it there so that everyone would see it and it would be very much a focal point of the house and of the family. That call uh, to, uh, to, to love, I have to be slightly careful because in the gospel it talked about love your enemies, but I wanted to take it in a brighter, in a wider sense because it seems to me it's not just uh, the image on the wall, there are still real examples of it in our world. And I need to be slightly careful, I'm glad that Deacon Eddie, I know, is occupied at the moment, so he won't be hearing this. He's occupied down at the cathedral. They've just begun the rehearsal for the ordination of himself uh, and Deacon Gus uh, to the priesthood at the weekend. And that is an example of love. There is no other reason for him to, to commit his life uh, to, to God in that way other than he has a, a deep love of God and a deep love to serve God's people. The fact he puts himself forward uh, as a minister, as one who will minister God's love, who will minister uh, the sacraments, reveals the extraordinary generosity that can be found in people in this day. There are many, of course, who show that love around our parish and beyond. But I want to suggest tonight that we might particularly focus on Deacon Eddie and Deacon Gus. Give thanks that they are willing uh, to give their lives in love, to pray for them that they will have uh, fullness of ministry and that as we are served by them, we will be directed ourselves to the God of love and that we will find ourselves ever more in his service. It's that service to which Mary committed herself. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son <coughs> was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O God, creator of the world and king of heaven, sending light, most beautiful to clothe, clothe the day and grace of sleep to come by night, 
that so in rest our slackened limbs grow strong for work as dawns the day, and wearied minds be fresh again, and light drives anxious care away. With bound and thanks, with offered vows, with prayers and hymns our debt we pay, beseeching thee to keep us safe as night draws nigh, as ends the day. The Lord surrounds his people. Those who put their trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion that cannot be shaken, that stands forever. Jerusalem, the mountains surround her, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forever. For the scepter of the wicked shall not rest over the land of the just, for fear that the hands of the just should turn to evil. Do good, Lord, to those who are good, to the upright of heart, But the crooked and those who do evil drive them away. On Israel, peace. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord surrounds his people. Unless you become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor (laughs) marvels beyond me. (coughs) Truly I have set my soul in silence and peace, a weaned child on its mother's breast. Even so is my soul. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Unless you become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed men for God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. From the letter to the Romans. Do not let your love be a pretense, but sincerely prefer good to evil. Love each other as brothers should, and have a profound respect for each other. Work for the Lord with untiring effort and with great earnestness of spirit. If you have hope, this will make you cheerful. Do not give up if trials come, and keep on praying. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Your truth will last from age to age. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. 
He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. God has established his people in hope. Nothing can break the confidence of those who love him. Let us proclaim, Father, our trust is in you. We give you thanks, Lord God, for you have made us rich in all wisdom and insight. Father, our trust is in you. Lord God, you know the hearts of all rulers. May they work for the good of the people they govern. Father, our trust is in you. Lord, you empower mankind to glorify this world with art. Make our work live with vision and true hope. Father, our trust is in you. Do not allow us to be tempted beyond our limits. Strengthen the weak, raise up the fallen. Father, our trust is in you. Father, you have promised us a share in your son's resurrection on the last day. Remember those who've gone before us on the path to eternal life. <coughs> Ask that we might pray for peace in the Ukraine and in Gaza and in all those parts of the world that justice and peace may be restored. We're asked to pray for Josette. We pray that she will be kept comfortable and that she will in time return to full health. We pray for the election, praying that the outcome may be for the common good. We pray for Pat Waldridge. Maureen Monk. Margaret and John Hall. And for all those who've gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. And we pray for the two deacons as they prepare for ordination. Indeed, we remember too, Scott and Gary, who were ordained at the weekend. We pray that each of us may play our part in, this, in the vision for our diocese. Lord, the word who is life, May all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit so that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us for you are Lord forever and ever. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <coughs> Let us pray. And as evening, let our evening prayer rise up before your throne of mercy, Lord, and let your blessing come down upon us, so that now and forever your grace may help and save us. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. 
Thank you for being part, for showing your love uh, in prayer for, for those uh, who have asked for our intercession. And thank you to Nick and, um, uh, for, for making it possible and open the screen for those who can only make contact by phone for them to be part of it too. And may the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Pius, pray for us. St. Edward, pray for us.